used it. Today's documentary is on nanotechnology and its positive overall effect in relation to the atom. Nanotechnology is about making, manipulating, and measuring extremely small things. It is not a new field, but a new way of examining and studying it. Nanotechnology started when physicist Richard Feynman discussed it at the California Institute of Technology in 1959, way before the term nanotechnology was ever used. He described a process where scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and molecules. In 1969, Professor Norio Tanguchi developed the term nanotechnology. In 1981, individual atoms were seen with development of the scanning tunneling microscope. Although the technology is new, nanoscale materials have been around for centuries. Gold and silver particles were used in creating colors in glass windows of medieval churches. Artists back then just did not know that they were using nanotechnology to create changes in the makeup of the material they were using. Modern scientists are making material on purpose that are nanoscale so they can take advantage of the strength, light weight, and chemical reactivity of these materials. Just how small is nanotechnology? It is, a, it is hard to imagine, but it is a billionth of a meter. What does that really mean? There are 25,400,000 nanometers in an inch. A sheet of newspaper is around 100,000 nanometers thick. Nanotechnology gives the ability to see and control individual atoms and molecules. Everything on Earth is made of atoms from what we eat to what we wear to building houses and even our bodies. It is hard to see the atom with the naked eye, however. After all, it is so small. You can't even see it with the standard microscope like the ones in schools. Thirty years ago, special microscopes such as the scanning tunneling microscope and the atomic force microscope gave birth to nanotechnology. The impact of nanotechnology has been mostly good. In fact, it is all around us. In the area of computers, engineers have found ways of packing microchips into integrated circuits that make computers smaller and faster. Even the clothes we wear, the rugs we walk on, and the luggage we carry have nano whiskers in them. Nano robots will keep us healthy by fixing damage in our bodies. It will give us abundant energy because it transforms energy more effectively. With any nanotechnology, mankind has to be careful how it is used and make sure it is not abused. The power of an atom is so strong, it can make our lives so much better. If abused, we can see things such as the atom bomb. So we have to make sure that we monitor our use of nanotechnology so as to make our planet better and not to destroy it. This is Mon Revunta reporting from the Village School Channel in Houston, Texas.